This is insane. The employees loaded their dumpster tonight. There's so much stuff. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This week I hit a lot of really cool places. The dumpsters were loaded, so I'm super excited for you to see everything I found. But as always, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy my videos, leave me a like. It helps me out so, so much. And also leave a comment down below and let me know where you want to see me go next. But really quick, before we get into the video, I wanted to thank today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Personally, I use Surfshark VPN to protect my data, especially on days where I'm dumpster diving all day and I want to stop at Starbucks to get a coffee, but also use their Wi-Fi. With this VPN, I don't have to worry when connecting to public Wi-Fi that hackers might try to steal my information. It keeps my information secure and identity safe by encrypting my data. This means even if someone was attempting to steal my data, it will be blurred so they won't be able to read anything. Also, with a VPN, I can change my location anytime and watch Netflix shows from other countries that aren't even available in the US. So that means if you're anything like me and you've binged everything on Netflix and you're looking for a new show to watch, just switch your location to another country and it's gonna be like finding a whole new Netflix with new shows you've never even heard of before. This feature is not only amazing for viewing streaming services from other countries, but if you ever travel outside of the US, you can still access the internet as if you haven't left. There's no risk trying Surfshark, and they offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, so if you don't love it, get your money back. So secure your privacy today and enter coupon code GLAMOUR for three months free at surfshark.deal glamour. Thank you again to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. I'm checking my anthropology dumpster now and there's a bunch of stuff in here. There's a ton of perfumes and they still have a ton of product left in here. There's also, I think that's a little like necklace or a bracelet, but I'm definitely going to have to take this box with me. There's a mystery bag, so I don't know what's inside of that. And then some other stuff here. This box is way too big. I'm just gonna check everything here. Here's that mystery bag and it is a broken candle. It, all the wax is still there so I can definitely save this. Okay I'm grabbing everything out. I'm just gonna take it in that bag and check it out when I get home and then there's one more broken candle here. Back home now and here's everything I found. So there's four perfumes total and as you can tell they're all full which is crazy. I think this one is brand new, but they lost the top piece, so they just threw it away. And then there's also this lotion. The outside is dirty, but there's a lot of product left. This bracelet, I think it might be a necklace actually, but I'm gonna open it and see. It might be broken, but I can probably fix it. And then there's two broken candles in here. Here's the necklace. It looks like this bottom piece might be missing something, but it can definitely be used still. It is so pretty. I was just testing out the perfumes. They all smell amazing. I can't believe they threw these out. Next stop is Pop Shop. It's completely empty except for right down here. There's a bunch of shampoos, maybe conditioners. And then there's also a little mystery box. It's all wet because it's been raining. But let's see what's inside. Ooh, looks like something might be broken. Inside this box, ooh, this is all wet, but oh, this is cool. Oh, it lights up still. It doesn't look like the bulb is actually broken. I think it just popped out, but that definitely can be saved. Piece of broken glass for maybe a mug. This is some food, which might be ripped open. Oh, this might be part of that. Oh no, it's a little light as well. Second light, some Pocky, and looks like that's it in this box. I literally had to jump in to grab this stuff, but there's some shampoos and conditioners, and it looks like only this one is leaking. The rest of them are fine. I'm checking my Ulta's dumpster now, and there's a soup box in here. It doesn't look like they destroyed everything in here. A lot of this is still in the box like that. So I'm just gonna grab this whole thing out. I think there's like these in here as well. These are still in the box. So I'm gonna grab this. I'm super excited. I'm gonna double check if there's anything else, but look at how bad this is. Whoever dumpster dives here makes a huge mess. I, I hope it's a trash truck, but I have a feeling it's probably a dumpster diver. 
but it goes like all the way this way. I pulled this one out and it is brand new. Just the outside is dirty, but the box completely got souped up. There's also stuff like this. I think that's like an eye cream. This bag looks like it has a bunch of makeup. I don't know what these are. It might be like mascara or eyeliners, but there's a bunch of them. I think some of them fell down here. I'm gonna pull all of these out. There's also a soup box I'm gonna check. Now there's a couple things that they didn't destroy. I think that's a lotion. There's also a body scrub from Tree Hut. I think a couple of skincare products. They're really messy, but they feel like they're full and they didn't cut them. And then this is, oh, it's a Chanel lip gloss. It looks like it's brand new too. And then there's also a couple of straighteners. They did cut the cords on them. They got them a little bit souped up. So I don't know if I'll be able to fix them, but I'm definitely gonna try. Okay, I'm at my Burlington and it looks like there's some good stuff in here. A lot of mirrors, um, they might be broken, but I see a lot of mirrors and maybe some other stuff in here as well. The other door doesn't open, so I'm gonna have to try, and it's a pretty tall dumpster. I'm gonna try and reach some of this stuff, grab it out. Okay, so here's a few things that I pulled out. It's really windy, so I hope that's not picking up, but this was $80, and it's in really good condition, except it does have one little piece of broken glass right there, but it's a really cool mirror. And then I found this, start with this. This is a picture frame. The glass is broken but can easily be replaced and basically new. And then this was a set of I guess clocks and these were probably mirrors. These two broke but they're all separate and this one is perfectly fine but they threw the whole thing away. So there's a clock, a nice mirror, picture frame. And then there's some more stuff in there I'm gonna try and reach, but it looks like for the most part, it's all broken up anyway. Hey guys, I'm at a different Burlington and there's a big bag right back there. It keeps breaking, it's really heavy. So I'm trying to get it out without just completely breaking the bag. So let me keep trying to get this out and then I'll show you guys what I find. Okay, so unfortunately the bag just completely broke on me so I can't get the entire bag out. So I'm gonna have to just grab everything individually. There's a bunch of them in here. I think that's what this whole bag is full of. I'm gonna grab these out. Okay, I just pulled all of them out. So there's just a ton of different types. So there's some pattern ones like these ones and they're all these really nice memory foam, super soft. So some cheetah print, and then there's a bunch of these solid colors as well. So I don't know why they threw all of these out, but there's a ton of them. Okay, I'm checking my five below dumpster, and it looks like it's going to be loaded tonight. I just ripped this bag open, and there's a ton of stuff in here. There's also a yoga mat, it looks like, and then a, another little bag here, and then suitcase. I'm going to, there might be some more stuff under that. But I'm gonna kind of start with this one. It looks like everything in here is product, maybe some ripped open packaging. Um, usually there's a lot of like little broken stuff in here. I'm just gonna grab this bag out. Looks pretty promising. And then this bag over here looks like, oh, that is so cute. Let me grab this one and see what's in here. Checking out the second bag now, and it looks like it might be a bunch of leftover Easter stuff. There's some eggs here. Oh, those are inflatable eggs. There's also, I think, these are actually Easter baskets. I thought they were little plushies, but looks like they're Easter baskets. And there's a bunch of them in here. Some glasses, so it's definitely some Easter stuff. Let's check them out and see what we can find in them. Okay, it's super windy, but I'm starting to get through this first bag, and there's just like a little bit of everything in here. There's some plushies. Those are so cute. I don't see anything wrong with those. And that, I think I'm just gonna pull everything out. What is that? Oh, it's a candle. That is so cute. It's not broken either. I'm noticing that a lot of this stuff has like ripped open packages, but they didn't really destroy anything, like damaged packages. But this bag is super full. And then I also have this one over here, which is just full of Easter stuff. I'm just gonna pull all of this out. And here's everything I found from that first bag. So there's some clothing here, some shirts, snack foods, just a little bit of everything. Phone charger, which it is inside. Socks, some of those plushy things. And then some more like girlier stuff here. There's also some toy trucks. 
and then I think those are both slimes. Oh, that's a dust cleaning gel, but that's a slime. And then this yoga mat. And it looks like bag two just has a bunch of Easter stuff. I guess this is kind of what was left over from what they didn't sell. These Easter baskets are so cute. But they definitely had a ton of really cool stuff here today. I haven't checked Five Below for so long, but I definitely have to start checking it again. I hope you guys enjoyed this score.